I am. I'm, you laugh, but I am. Seriously, I'm like, I'm thinking of, you know, I haven't looked at property prices and stuff yet. And But, you know, if I can, if I can, it is. It's just, for me, surfing, motorbikes, loads of fresh air, loads of room compared to London. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely without doubt. And I, I am, you know, but, well, I don't know. I, I, I hate to sound so cheesy, but dare I say it, I'm falling in love with um, with Cornwall and around this particular area. And it, I'm glad that I actually didn't stay in Newquay and I, that this come up as well. So, sorry, bud. Yeah, no, I I, I could tell straight away. Um, <coughs> it is. You're right. No, it is. When I went there, I was uh, a little bit surprised. I expected Nuki to be what I've seen so far, like with the roads and the people and like uh, Harley Bay, Harley Bay. Um, that's what I expected it to look like. So I'm pleased that I, the gods, ether, <laughs> luck, call it whatever you will, but it's drawn me into that particular part. And um, yeah, I'm grateful. Right, I'm going to go and catch that road then. I'll speak to you in a bit, Dave. Well, <laughs> 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 I'll see you in a bit, bud. Well, he is such an amazing guy. Like, he has really made this trip. And that is why I think Airbnbs are just so good. Um, I mean, the one I stayed in last year, I went, I'd done a trip to Wales. And uh, they were okay, the couple, but, you know, they were like 2.4 children type of style family. And, um, yeah, me turning up on the bike, you know, six foot two, six foot three, bald head. They weren't really, you know, there wasn't much that we could talk about. Well, that is a lie, but, you know, I guess they, they kind of felt... That, uh, thank you. I guess they kind of felt that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm trying to explain it, but you know what I mean, didn't you? When you just click with someone, you click. And the funny thing with this guy, this Dave guy, who's uh, you know head of the household at this Airbnb, the thing with him is apparently he was um, an ex motorcycle instructor. Uh, so he's taught people how to ride motorbikes for years. I mean, is that a massive dose of serendipity or what? I'm almost tempted to say to him, because he, he is absolutely gushing over this bike. He's saying a lot of nice things about the bike and you could just see that he really appreciates his bike. And I'm almost tempted to just say to him, flick your leg over it, you know, bore my lid. Go, go and have like 15, 20 minutes. A uh, little blast out on these roads and, and see what you think. But there's that little part of me that says, don't do it, John, I don't know. Because like, you know what it's like when you ride somebody else's bike or even on a test ride, you, you don't ride as if it's your bike. You can't enjoy it as well, or I can't anyway. Like Compared to when I test rode this, I mean, yeah, I, I had a good time on this bike. And I was riding it quite, well, how can I put it? I was riding it to my ability. I think that's the best way to describe it. But the way I ride this bike now compared to on the test ride is like night and day. And if I was to let Dave, the guy who's in charge of the Airbnb that I'm staying at at the moment, sort of take the reins of the pony, I don't know if he's gonna be able to tame the beast. So it's a little bit shit today, the weather isn't ideal, uh, but it isn't bad either. And while it's quite foggy, it isn't raining, which I'm pleased about. Um, and that's the most important thing, to be honest. This morning, it was like all of this was completely wet and I weren't able to uh, have a little bit of fun. Oh wow, I don't think the camera's going to do that any justice. 
that is absolutely awesome that view well if it weren't for all of the clouds and so on so I went surfing this morning and uh, I did want to try and bring you guys along with me but the logistics of just having like my crash helmet on while I'm surfing is just <laughs> not a good idea and plus I look like an absolute bell end just up on that little crusty bit that bit is made for me so let's have a little a little gander a little gander Rudy bum that's it there he is so I right, am gonna just stop on the side of the road here <laughs> please don't die John <laughs> mummy mummy please so I've also um, brought my camera along with me to take some photographs uh, of shit of, I don't know this is probably not the best spot in the world but I don't know I just feel what's the word a calling to take some photos here it's like a busy little spot but look at that that, that is just awesome <sighs> So yeah, this was me this morning, basically, down here, wetsuit on, surfboard, just loving life, with some really cool people as well, Some the lessons that I was having, I was with some really awesome people, and that's one thing here, and I don't know if it's because people are on holiday, but everyone's so talkative, just at the tea van, you know, people are more than happy to have a conversation with you about politics, religion, motorbikes I can't think of anything else funny to say but everybody here the, the ambience is so nice and oh, it just I don't know I feel so chilled out and I'm going to try and take some photos of that scenery right now so that's a few photos taken yet to decide whether I'm going to put them in a the video or not oh, the air up here is so sweet oh and it's really warm I feel uh, very very content oh surfing man seriously like look at this bike as well look at all the sand and shit up at here, look, it's absolutely. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have to get this, or well, when I get back, I'm going to get it professionally cleaned. Because um, it is very, very dirty. It's a dirty, my baby's dirty. I've got a dirty baby. Um, the pipe is absolutely gross out as well. Anyway, um, yeah, I've got to get it clean. But the thing is, with bikes, I don't. Ba I've never babied my bikes. I've never been one of those people that. Um, oh, it's never been out in the wet. <laughs> you know, it's uh, these bikes are designed to be used. You know, when BMW were designing this bike, I don't think uh, that it was going to be a problem to go out in the wet. Seriously, like, and yeah, I guess that's what I mean. Like this trip, I, like, I have I, come rain or shine, I know this bike will be able to withstand. Hello, mate. Oh, look at this. One hand, auto. Yes. See, that's the beauty. So that is the. Well, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's the beauty of uh, <laughs> cruise control. Shouldn't do that, but. I'm a bit of a daredevil. But yeah, I've, I've never really babied my bikes. I've always just ridden them hard, done what they're intended to do. Um, and yeah, I guess that what, I'm kind of at the mentality of like whatever happens, happens to a bike. Like, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not doing anything than, than, than other than what it was actually designed to do. I've got someone up my Japsy 
I don't know if that's the right expression to use, but or up my arse. It's 30 miles an hour limit, unless I miss saying, and he is up my arse. It's, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm going this way anyway, so there's an indicator. Uh, right, if we've got the nationals, mate, I will see you in the dust. Again, more, this is just, where are we now? This is so awesome! Oh. <laughs> this is just, oh! Oh, God! This is so beautiful, and I know the camera is just probably not going to do this any justice at all. But this does really remind me of like being in the Pyrenees, like specifically Andorra. It, it really does uh, give me that same kind of that feeling that you know you're so insignificant, kind of you know in, in comparison to nature. That's what I'm trying to to, to portray, to portray, to bring across. Um, and when you see these views and like what nature does, like, oh, oh, I'm just so grateful there are still places on earth, particularly in England, in the UK, that are as pretty and as beautiful as that. And I'm going to, how high can I get? Uh, do I need to get any higher? Should I just put over here? Let's just pull over here because I can always move on. And that's just oh, when I missed that bag of well, what looks like dog shit. Oh my god! Oh, again, Chris, this is what these holidays are all about. You just find the scenery. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I just don't know if the camera is going to do this any justice. I really don't. Um, that's another thing as well, while I'm recording this, I think to myself, and that's the beauty of YouTube. Like one, obviously, you can get to experience this with me. I'll you know, happily bring you guys along with me because that's just the type of man that I am. But what I can do, this is like a documentary. This is this is going to be a nice, I, a, a, a nice archive for my future. You know, our grandparents used to keep photos uh, of each other uh, when they were, you know, in their teens and in love and all that sort of stuff. And the same with, you know, your parents and the same with my parents. They just use photographs to sort of record histories where we have the ability to use video and I feel so blessed and oh, I guess I could talk the hump off a camel at the best of times but I guess the point I'm trying to, to make is I, I don't know if the camera is just going to pick up how beautiful this is. What well, road this is called? See this is the beauty of these trips Right, I don't know where I am, I don't know the name of this road, and it's just, although it's damp, uh, well it's wet, basically it's not damp, um, there's no way I'm going to be able to go at any sort of speed on the twisties, but I can tell you the air smells very nature-goresque, that's a word, that isn't even a word, that's not even a word is it, nature-goresque. Smells like nature. Smells very woodlandy, like like Robin Hood and his merry men. But just getting lost and just finding these incredible roads, like in Cornwall. Cornwall is like Cornwall's the one. Cornwall's the one. Cornwall is my new destination. Got to be done at least once a year, I think. Surfing on the bike. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, baby. This road is so wet. It is so wet. It is so wet. I might go back through there as it goes. And I might just stop here for a minute. Turn for a second. Think about where I am. Think about where I am in life and what I'm doing. Oh. So what am I doing? Try a little bit of a breather really and just appreciate. <sighs> the bike is so dirty. Can't get over how grubby it is. I have got a grubby bike. But yeah, anyway guys, um thank you so much for watching my little trip. The venture is to be continued. Oh um and yeah, I'm gonna go out for dinner tonight in a little town called Padstow. Whether I will record that or not, I don't know, I doubt it. Um, don't think it's going to make very good TV, you watching me eat my dinner. Um, so I'll love you and leave you. If you like this content, please consider to give it a little thumbs up, really appreciate it. But um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.